Kumar Sen and uh, in this video tutorial you are going to learn about this clutch and of course a numerical problem which has been asked in gate previous year so my main motto of creating this tutorial is not to let you understand what is this uh, what is basically this clutch what is to working and all those things because those things you can easily understand if you are not understanding then just let me know I will try to create videos on that on those topics and definitely I will upload on YouTube my YouTube channel okay that's why you can understand every topic in mechanical engineering so it's all about that now let's go for this topic only understand this and of course I will make you understand a question which has been asked in gate previous year Alright, so basically what are formulas you require to solve the numerical problems in case of this clutch? Well, I have gone through few questions those already asked in gate previous year and uh, I have seen you know and of course I have read its theory So in the case of this clutch we we have to follow two theories one is uniform pressure theory and for gate point of view this is the theory which is most important right so in case of uniform pressure theory we are having formula for finding out you know torque so for for finding out torque we are having formula that is t is equal to 2 by 3 pi mu p r naught cube minus r i cube okay one formula is this and one of the most common formula we have also used in the problem which has been just I am going to which I am just going to uh, share with you and that question has been asked in gate previous year that is power is equal to 2 pi nt torque by 60 this is a most this is a most common formula you prob you have probably used in uh, in uh, somewhere uh, because uh, this is a, this is a very important formula right so uh, this is about it now here most important thing is that in case of uniform pressure theory I'm talking about this uh, this formula this is most important mu what is 2 by 3 you know that pi 3.14 you can get symbol this one also in calculator online calculator also mu is coefficient of friction uh, yeah p is pressure that's why it's a it's a you know it's a formula of uniform pressure theory so definitely most probably they will give you what is pressure well if, if they will give you uh, give you other things to find out then definitely you can find out pressure also because that's about uh, that is depend on them only now R0, what is R0? Basically it's outer radius and Ri basically inner radius. I you will not confuse that's why I have denoted this like this R0 and Ri. So what is the thing you need to remember this formula? Because this formula really play most important role to solve the numerical problem. Because without formula, how could it be possible you can solve the numerical problem? That's not possible, isn't it? So let's go for that formula. So here is the, uh, yeah, let's go for the numerical problem, not formula basically. So here is the numerical problem we got. So I hope you can read the numerical problem, right? So what we have given in this numerical problem, that a disc clutch is required to transmit while it's a winter season. That's why someone is just, you know, just uh, going somewhere. That's a bike, you know, you can definitely listen to bike, a sound of a bike. So that's not the problem. It's a, like entertaining, right? So let's go for the question first because our main motto to understand the question and to find out the answer what they have asked in this question. Okay. So what they have asked a disc clutch is required to transmit 5 kilowatt. Power is given 5 kilowatt. A RPM is given that is N is equal to 2000 RPM. These are small small things you have to notice in case of if you wanted to solve numerical problems right so the disc has a friction line with the coefficient of friction that is mu is equal to 0 0.25 okay and bore radius of bore radius of friction lining is this so bore radius they have given okay assume uniform contact pressure right so pressure they have, they have given that is 1 mega pascal always focus on unit also if there is the uh, say the uh, the you know the quantity is unit okay the term is having unit because coefficient of friction is not having unit it's a dimension less so value of outside radius of the friction lining they have given bore radius that means it its inside radius is 25 mm i have to find out outside radius what 
Now for uh, for finding our outside radius, we are having only one formula in case of uniform contact pressure or uniform pressure theory, right? So what is that formula? T is equal to two by three pi mu pi mu p r not q minus r i q. Sorry, r i q. Now we have to find out r not q. We know pi, we know mu, we know p. That is pressure. We don't know t. Okay, but we have given these two values. So can you understand the relation they are making? So basically, if you are preparing for gate, then you need to understand all relations between formulas. Once you will be able to understand relation between formulas, then things will become quite easier for you, as right now. If you did not do it, and a better way to make relation or understand relation in between formulas is to solve numerical problems. There is no shortcut. Because if you solve numerical problems, you will come to know where you are making mistake first, and you also come to know where you will definitely remember the formula also, and all you will also come to know the relation in between formulas. Because the formula used in somewhere, you can use some other places also. The same pretty formula. Because you know, let me share with you one thing. The ideal gas equation is also used in thermodynamics several times, several times. And uh, most of the time we forget that equation, but that is also important. Okay, if you have solved question of steady flow energy equation, I have already shared with you in my YouTube channel. Then definitely you come to know what I am talking about right now. Uh, probably you have, if you have solved by yourself also, then definitely you are thinking about. I mean, you are understanding what I am talking about right now. Now let's go for it. So uh, as I have already shared with you that formula, right? So power is equal to. 2 pi n t by 60 because p is given, power is given, n is given, so we can find out t. What is t? So t is equal to 60 multiple p by 2 pi n. So 60 power is 5 kilowatt. So let's multiple 10 to the power 3. 2 pi n n is uh, it's given 2000, not 1000. So we can we need just calculator. Without calculator, it would be difficult for us to get. Two thousand, right? So what the, what is the value we are getting? Twenty three point eight seven three two newton meter. It's not kilo because we have already taken, right? So uh, in the examination, you need to take up to four decimal values to get most accuracy, most accurate answer. Now we got this value. Just put this value this side. Just put this value this side. Now look at this. The the unit they have as that is in mm. Okay, so now take all units in mm only. Take all units in mm. Then it will become quite easier for you, right? So, uh, so here, twenty three point eight seven into ten to the power three. That's because of this uh, here meter is here. So I can have to multiply this with ten to the power three. Two by three. Pi is okay, no problem. Coefficient of friction, this or oh yeah. One more thing, mega pascal means 10 to the per 6 newton per meter square. If you convert this mm, then this will become 1 newton per mm square. So just multiply with 1. Now we have to find out R not. So let it be like this and 25 to the per q. Okay, just just send this 3 to this side. So multiply with 3, right? And we have to get this value this side. So just look like this. Yeah, just yes, we can do this, right? So it's simple way to calculate for calculation, right? So twenty three point eight seven three two multiple three multiple ten to the power three. Okay, we did. So calculation. Don't make mistake in calculation. <laughs> okay. So otherwise, yeah. Twenty three point eight seven. Three uh, two multiple ten to the power three multiple three, got it? Now division point two five multiple pi multiple. Is there anything else? Yeah, multiple two. So we got this value plus twenty five to the power three, and now find out its cube root. So we got value here. R naught is equal to thirty nine point four one mm. Okay. Now what we have to do, you know that, yeah, 
Now see the option D and the answer we got here that is 39.41 mm and its option is here 39.4 mm right so uh, you hope and I hope you got the answer option D mark the right answer right now because after all after putting so much effort we got this answer happy okay I hope you understand the question and of course the concept of disk clutch and how to find out numerical problems related to it. Well, thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video tutorial. Bye-bye.